How's it going, car people? It's Lucas here, back with another video, and today I have a treat for you all. Today I have a video from a visit to an automobile museum in Zinsheim, Germany, which has a ton of cool cars to see, ranging from classic cars, to supercars, to ultra-rare cars. There was a lot to see. I'm also doing post-commentary for this video, so it's easier for me to articulate things. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. Right at the entrance to the museum was this, the DeLorean Time Machine with absolutely everything that the one from Back to the Future had. For those who don't know, the Back to the Future movies are my favorite movies of all time, and are the reason as to why the regular DeLorean is my dream car, but more on that later. This museum is made up of three different halls. This right here is the first hall, which contains mostly American cars and these hot rod vehicles. Crazy. Here's a classic Corvette, one of my favorite sports cars of all time. And here's a Corvette Squad. And another Corvette. And another one, with the license plate, nice vet, because it is one. Here's a vintage Mustang, and a classic New York Police Department car. A Jeep made completely out of wood, a Cadillac XLR, a Ford GT, my favorite supercar, and some cars from the 1910s and 1920s. I mean, <laughs> there was a lot of cool stuff in there. But wait, it gets better. Here's a Dragster Mini Cooper, which by itself is already cool to look at. But take a look at its motto. You don't need to be fast if you are that beautiful. I mean, it totally makes sense. This is by far the best motto I've ever seen on a car. Also, check out the sweet view of the cars from above. Pretty awesome. On the other end of the hall, there were some military vehicles, which were pretty cool to look at. Classic Volkswagen Beetles included. Oh, and there's a train in there too. Nice. And that is it for Hall 1, let's move on to Halls 2 and 3. Alright, Hall 2 contains this Red Bull Mini, <laughs> pretty awesome, a Mercedes-Benz 300 SL, a heavily modified Mercedes-Benz SLR, a Ferrari and Lamborghini squad containing a Ferrari F40, a Ferrari Testarossa, a Lamborghini Miura, a Countach, and the infamous Lamborghini LM002. Here's a large Formula One car squad, and here's a Maybach squad, and many more classic Mercedes-Benz and Maybachs. Some of them look like they are even bigger than our Toyota Sienna, which is saying something. No, there ain't no stopping us. And here we have a lineup of some more classic cars, including some Porsches, Volkswagens, Audis, etc. The infamous Amphi car, which can drive on water, and I've actually seen one driving on water in person before, but unfortunately I don't have video evidence that it actually happened because it was long before my YouTube channel existed. Oh well, it was still cool nonetheless. Here we have a Citroen 2 CV, two BMW IZs, and here's another DeLorean, this time the regular one, my dream car. And here is possibly my favorite picture that I got that day. Check out what was in front of this DeLorean. That is a Vector W8, which is probably the rarest car in this whole museum. There are only 17 of them in the whole world. Well, actually 19, but two of them are prototype models, so only 17 real ones were produced. To sum it up, we have my dream car, and one of the rarest cars in the world, in one picture. It doesn't get any better than that. And finally, we have some cars from the late 1800s and early 1900s, like the first ever electric car ever to exist, and the first car ever to exist, the 1886 Benz Patent Motor Wagon. Cars have really come a long way over the last 134 years, and I guess you can say we're kind of spoiled by what kind of technology cars have to offer these days, but it's still really cool to look back and see what cars used to be like, especially in the 1800s. If it wasn't for Carl Benz, this museum probably wouldn't even exist, and I wouldn't be able to make these kinds of videos. <laughs> Now let's take a look at Hall 3, which is the newest hall in this museum, having been opened in September 2019. This hall only contains one car brand, which you can clearly see is Alfa Romeo. There were some classic Alfa Romeos, some new ones, and some crazy cool ones. Awesome! Time to check out one last thing, which is not inside the museum, but rather above the museum, in the air which is planes. I mean, it's totally fitting because 
that's where planes belong whenever they're in use. <laughs> Going inside some of the planes was permitted, which I took advantage of. I entered this Concorde plane, which seems to have been part of Air France in the past. Fun fact, this plane is faster than any jet currently in existence. A flight from London to New York could be done in three and a half hours with this plane. To put that in perspective, the average flight from London to New York takes about seven and a half hours. So the fact that this Concorde could do it in less than half of that is wicked. Anyways, here's the inside of the plane. Definitely very different from any plane I've been on in the past. Now I couldn't go inside the cockpit, but at least I got to see it, so here it is. All right, and that is my visit to the Automobile Museum. No, 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 scratch that. The Automobile, Railroad, and Aviation Museum in Zinsheim, Germany. What an awesome place. I would highly recommend coming here if you live in Germany and want to see a museum with tons of cool cars and also trains and planes. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.